we're going to do the Lewis structure of barium hydride. Now, barium is a metal, one of the alkaline earth metals from group two of the periodic table. Hydrogen is a non-metal. Even though it's on the left side of the table, it's simply there for organizational purposes. It is a non-metal. We have to agree on that. Barium, coming from the second column, means it brings two valence electrons with it. And hydrogen, being in the first column of the periodic table, brings one valence electron with it. Now, a metal plus a non-metal will combine to make an ionic compound, which is a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. Now, barium is going to give one of its electrons to that hydrogen. That means that hydrogen is going to have two electrons around it, that gives it a charge of minus one and makes it into a hydride anion. But this barium still has an extra valence electron. Where will it go? Well, another hydrogen atom with its one unpaired electron will happily accept the donation of that electron. And so one barium furnishes the electrons for two different hydrogen atoms. What you end up with here is a barium ion. It has no valence electrons around it, but a plus two charge. And then you have two of these hydride anions. That's an H with a pair of electrons. One more electron than it brought with it. Remember, one more electron means a minus one charge. And I want you to draw two of those to show that there are two of them because you needed two H's to accept the electrons that barium brought. This here is the complete Lewis structure for barium hydride. This here is just showing how it is formed. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.